Hey guys, this is Big Guy Car Reviews and More coming at you with another video. I just wanted to talk about the latest news where in recent times about the GT500 Shelby, or should I say the Shelby GT500, the hottest thing that's out right now and one of the hottest cars that a lot of YouTubers, if that are fortunate, have one or those that wish they could have got it. And so far they're being built and you know, the build is gonna be from now until 2023 from what we the information we were given before so you got a couple of years to buy one those who didn't get in on the first uh ones that were produced so here yeah, i wanted to talk about today um a few things about those who have one say like um one guy who got his uh, performance wise uh, upgrade from the original settings from the factory uh his name is iconic gt500 at least that's his channel's name now this guy had got his gt500 with a package and he was able to get his car in the nines nine seconds so that makes it the fastest for right now gt500 that's out on the streets and it makes you wonder how much further this car can go. See, so now I think back along with some of you when the car was first introduced and we saw, finally got to see the 760 horsepower. And, you know, we didn't know if it was going to be more than 760 because remember it was that 7 plus plus. So from that 7 plus plus, they left it kind of in a, my a mystery. So we come to find it was 760 and everybody was saying, is that it? Just 760, nothing more, like 800, or if not more, because people went to comparing it against the Hellcat and then the Demon. And we went through all the hoopla about how the car was a track car and this, that, and the other. It's a high performance car. You're getting two different packages. Either you're getting a track car with the um, top of the line model, or you're getting the basic model, which is going to be a drag racing car, because people are going to buy that. They're going to want to drag race in it. So let's get past the BS. Now that we know this car could get into the nines with just a certain upgrade and uh, different things, here, how much further can that car go? That's the question right now. So we're patiently waiting to see who else is buying the car and is going to get the car and take it to the next level. Because you know all kinds of aftermarket packages are going to come out. And it's going to boost this car way beyond that 760, thank God. But the, who will want to stand up to that challenge? You're going to have plenty of people. People with Hellcats and their modified cars. People with, or should I say modified Hellcats. Uh, people with Dodge Demons. And even if they didn't modify that, a modified Dodge Demon, speaking of demonology. Uh, people with Camaros. And you got the uh, SSs, you got the ZL1s, you know. Even better, you have the Copo Camaros that are out, you know. You're going to see all kinds of people with different cars are going to come up against that GT500. And those who had a GT500 are going to get those cars, if they can afford it, are going to get those cars with the top-of-the-line packages that are out today. So I just wanted to bring that up because I was looking at some videos now, several YouTubers, I just mentioned one, Iconic uh, GT500, he's the first to get his in the nines. And there are going to be others, you know, especially my favorite channel, Staying Mode. We're going to watch him do step by step, st stage by stage, uh, how he's going to build his. He's got a nice one, that lime green with the black stripes. It makes it real, real nice. But here, I also wanted to talk about someone else who it kind of threw me off to see him in it. But here recently, we had Omi and a Hellcat just do a video, and he has one. And I was like, isn't he a Mopar guy? You know, pretty sure many people said that to watch that video. But he was in a GT500. Now, I don't know if it's his or if it's a friend of his. See, I was trying to figure that one out while watching the video. because some, Just because somebody said, oh, it's mine. You know, it could be his friends, you know, and they just bought the car. But it was a nice one. It was blue.
So it's just something I was thinking about and just wanted to bring out. And uh, maybe we could talk about this again as time goes and some more videos come out on how this car is going to be dealt with to the general public as far as performance packages. Because I know for a fact that Ford never gives you the exact amount of power those cars have when it comes down to their performance package cars, the GT Mustang, or anything above that. They, they never give you the information. They'll give you something, but it's not to what is in comparison to the original stats from that car. Because, you know, once you get the tune in that car, you find out that car has way, way more horsepower and torque. Because look at it like this. You get a 2017 to 19 uh, Mustang GT, and you're getting that what package which says only 500 horsepower. And you once you start putting on um, aftermarket parts, that thing jumps up to a thousand. And you're telling me you're getting a thousand horsepower off this car, that engine, that 5.0302 uh, Coyote motor. You know, it's it's just it's just a matter of time before people are gonna start getting way more horsepower out of that GT500. So it's just something that was on my mind I wanted to talk about or bring up to you all. And maybe next time, the next video, we might get some more answers, all right?